you can't tell what's inside. We're going to come over here and look at this train full of... But Snohomish County Public Works Director Kelly Snyder knows if this train doesn't move, it's a problem. We don't know uh, if we're going to get more containers. We don't know if they're going to come and get this train. Um, it's very um, uh, unreliable at this moment. The container holds solid waste, everything from food to furniture. They're supposed to be transported daily to a landfill in eastern Washington, but she says a slew of rail service problems means it's not happening. That's where that service level has been diminishing since January. Uh, it was uh, so much so that we had to pile up solid waste during the months of April and May. This is what the county's solid waste facility looked like in early May, a 45 foot pile. It prompted health, safety and environmental concerns. And according to Snyder, we are starting to build that um, pile again. That's problem number one. Piled on top of that is the possible railroad worker strike. We're dependent on rail and when that service level diminishes, that's when we have to figure out alternative ways. Right now, a strike means the county would need to shut down its solid waste transfer stations. It would impact curbside pickup and recycling. If we're shut down, we we reserve some capacity for certain types of uses throughout the county. Hospitals come to mind, schools come to mind. But she says the overall impact would be significant. A strike could start as soon as Friday. The county will wait to see if that happens. And in the meantime, they hope that this train heads out Wednesday morning. So it's really important for us to make sure that we get the word out about anything that might impact that daily visit.